live from Defence Expo 2022 and we are here at the store of the Zen Technologies and speaking to us this evening is Mr. Ashok Kakturi, the CMD of Zen Technologies. A face and name which goes absolutely hand in glove with the Make in India and the Atmanirbhar Bharat plan of the Government of India. So welcome to ADU's chat room and how does it feel to be here in the city of Gandhi for the first time? A city which is famous for its non-violence and we are here talking about everything which is not uh, non-violence. So, you know, uh, I think, uh, I feel that it's a great show. Given the short time, two months that we were there, they really, really put up a fantastic show. The, the government has to be commended and the Indian industry for coming forward and participating in such a big way. And as far as uh, Zen is concerned, Zen makes simulators. In fact, it uh, is a way, it's a very, very environmental friendly way of preparing to defend ourselves without bullets and, uh, you know, without polluting the environment. Zen is absolutely in sync with the mood of the city. But also we should remember Zen, uh, India has never been an aggressor nation. It's always been a defender nation. And uh, I think um, this is an appropriate place for this exhibition. And I think it has been conducted very well, the logistics, etc. And sir, uh, since this day two, uh, how have these last two days been? What has the footfall been like? And is it different from the other Jeff Expos we've seen earlier? I do think that you know, the foreign participation is not as strong as uh, it would have been. Uh, but having said that, the Indian participation has more than compensated the uh, uh, lack of foreign participation. But I, and I think the Indian participation has actually very strongly come, back, come in uh, the exhibition so that more than compensates for any deficiencies caused by the short duration or the absence of the foreign players. And sir, uh, Zen and simulators. Now, did you see a market of new people? Did you see new persons, the Indian industry, which for the first time is interacting with its own self? Did you see some new customers? Not really. I mean, the customers continue to be the old ones. But you know what we see? There is a tremendous amount of openness they are embracing the Indian industry, which was, you know, kind of used to be little uh, separated from us. Now they, they are getting very, very integrated. And you know, Zen actually, in addition to simulators, also make anti-drone systems and uh, shoot edge, the advanced corner uh, corner shot system. We are seeing a lot of interest from the uh, Indian uh, customers, and they are actually coming, encouraging. And uh, even the fact that this is the indigenously designed and developed product, most of the product, the anti-drone or the shoot edge or the uh, simulators that we have, or the live range equipment that we have, we feel that there is tremendous amount of uh, openness and acceptance of the Indian industry today from the customer than ever before. And uh, my next question, sir, would be Zen Technologies, very specifically. What is the supply chain like? Is it totally Indian or do you have a global supply chain? We have certain components that are global, like, you know, we use the Microsoft motherboard, sorry, the Intel-based motherboard, we use Microsoft Windows. We are Sun Corporate that are uh, from foreign countries, but our supply chain is almost everything is Indian, uh, you know, the way. Most of it is in Hyderabad, but some in Pune and Bengaluru. But yes, we are completely Indian, India-based supply chain, with very little dependence on any foreign uh, vendor, except for these chipsets and, you know, Microsoft Windows, uh, which uh, we were, the, especially with the hardware, there were some issues that we had to go back to the drawing board because when they, they were not available, we redid the, the, redid the design and manufactured the parts again. So yes, the hardware, there were issues with the supply chain, but otherwise um, everything is based in India. So that means, sir, when COVID had hit India and the world, you didn't have a break in supply chain? No, we didn't have any break in supply chain. Though. All the vendors are here, but as the war progressed, you know, we had some components that disappeared from the market, some chipsets. So we had to redesign the product based on the available chipsets. And sir, uh, you know, as we continue, we would like to understand from you that in addition to simulators, which Zen is famous for and the main product, what else are the products you have? Because we've heard that Zen is on an expansion mode. So we have anti-drone system with both the soft kill and hard kill options. We completely, again, indigenously designed the detector, the jammer, the radar, the command and control center. Everything is indigenous. Even the camera that we procure is from a local partner. And then we also have the, now we have integrated the hard kill option with both uh, air defense gun and a medium machine gun. 
to be the, the hard to option is now available as on uh, um, a, as an offering to the customer. So this is what anti drone system, and we also have a corner shot. You know, it's, it's called shoot edge, which you can uh, you know uh, it's operational equipment which you can a, a soldier can fire behind the wall without exposing himself at a terrorist and kill the terrorist. Yeah, so these are the um, largely the simulators plus other training, live training equipment. Second is the anti-drone system, the soft and hard kill option, and then the corner shot shoot edge that we have. Right, sir. And as in when we talk of customers, I would like to understand from you that uh, you know Indian customers, yes, is paramilitary a very major part of your uh, yes uh, pa base? paramilitary police are uh, customers for us. I would say I have the. They are typically around 20%, so they are important for us. Yeah. And the uh, three armed forces, sir? Absolutely. They are the big, biggest customer for us, especially the Army. But now a Navy and Air Force are also becoming our important customers, especially under this uh, Nivir uh, scheme, where they have to train the, uh, you know, the recruits in a very short time. The use of simulators is uh, being uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, deployed. The simulators are being deployed to cut down the uh, training time at the same time, save costs uh, and uh, increase the effectiveness of the learning. And since Zen has also been on a very big uh, drive for export, so uh, we'd like to understand from you what has it been like and you're exporting to how many countries and what, are, what is your uh, short-term plan, let's say, five years, next five years in this export so we, we are focusing on countries which the government of India is, you know, uh, uh, very friendly with and, you know, we don't have any issues with those countries. And especially, but there are regions the government is focusing on, like the African region is one region, then there is the Middle East, then there is, you know, CIS countries, and even Southeast Asia. So these are the regions that we are focusing on, and we think next five years the exports are going to explode uh, from India, and then we will be a huge beneficiary of that uh, increase in exports. And so, you know, we at DefExpo are seeing a very major thing which is happening. There is a dialogue going on between India and Africa with all the defense ministers here and this is a talk on, you know, uh, what India can do for them. We do see them as a potential market. So does what does Zen think about it? Is this dialogue going to be a stepping stone for companies, uh, Indian companies like Zen, for getting business abroad in Africa? So, you know, I think a huge initiative by the Modi government is, you know, extending a $10 billion line of credit which the government is wanting the African nations to use to buy equipment from India and, and one of the key components of that is the defense equipment from Indian, Indian industry. So yes, there is a push by the Indian government after decades of neglect to outreach to the African countries and you know help those African countries mutually, you know, I mean I think we are also helping each other by giving them the cutting edge defense equipment which they are cannot reach, uh, they cannot get from European and American countries for different reasons, maybe including financial ones. So they are actually, Indian government is uh, making it on easy terms available, uh, cutting a different sector. And that's a very laudable uh, goal and Zen is absolutely, you know, in sync with the Indian government's outreach and we are also trying to find out customers. And we actually see that a lot of the smaller countries which are either two were not uh, very active are coming to Zen and saying, and we are interested in the following products. So yes, I think this African outreach is very good for the Indian industry and very good for the country also. Thank you very much, sir. It was wonderful speaking with you. And I think, you know, whenever we meet and every time there's something new to learn from you, and I think next time when we meet at Aero India, I'm sure Zen will have much more to talk about. It's, it's just great to have you on the channel. Looking forward. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for having me.